Hi all, in today's video we'll talk about the internet and find out how it works. If you thought that the internet works by satellite, find out that you were wrong. So how does the internet work and where does it come from? Before starting this video, don't forget to activate the subtitles and smash the like button. The internet is everywhere but still nowhere. He is on the phone, TV or computer, but where exactly does he come from? Every time you receive a notification, access a site, or send an email, the data is sent via cables that are found all over the globe and so reach the recipient. The data you want to access on the internet is very far away from you and is stored at companies such as Google, Facebook, or other hosting companies. From here, your data may be transmitted to you via a satellite. But this is useless because the bandwidth of a satellite is very limited and leads to long delays. So what's the solution? Well, find out the data on the internet circulates mostly through fiber optic cables that cross the earth under seas and oceans among sharks and other strange creatures. The cables are very, very thick to protect the optical fiber inside, which is very fragile and sensitive. These cables are connected to landing stations located on the shores of the oceans, and from there the internet goes to an entire continent forming a huge network. If we found out where the internet comes from, now let's see how it works. To better understand, let's take a concrete case. Let's say you want to access certain data from the internet from a phone or a laptop that is connected to the internet via cable or Wi-Fi via a router. The data you want to access, for example a video on YouTube, is stored in a data center on an SSD of a server. But how does this data get to you? Any device connected to the internet is identified by a unique group of numbers called the IP address. And the IP address of your phone or laptop, for example, is given by your internet service provider. Also, the server where the data you want to access is stored also has an IP address. So, through the IP, the information has a sender and a recipient. Moreover, if you want to access Google.com, for example, it also has an IP address hidden under a domain name to be easier to use. Because for us humans, it's much easier for us to remember Google.com than to remember numbers like 105.39.4.284. This is where DNS technology comes in, which works like a phone book. Specifically, DNS associates a name for each website IP address in the world. From here, this data request that you made is transmitted to the respective server and the data transfer to you starts. The data flows through the fiber optic cable system in the form of light pulses and thus reaches your router. From here, the data is transmitted by the router in the form of electrical signals via internet cable or Wi-Fi. But what if you use the internet through mobile data? Well, the signal is transmitted through the same optical cables to a cell tower, and from here the internet is transmitted to you in the form of electromagnetic waves. In the end, I think it's quite important to know what the internet is and where it comes from, given that we use it daily, and without it our lives would have been much harder in all respects. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. See you in the next video.